What is up YouTube, Jbarn 2024 here, and today we're going to do part two of Let's Build a Bowling Alley. Um, the blocks you're going to be needing are birch wood planks, black wool, uh, stone slab, spruce wood, chest, red wool, sandstone slabs, glowstone, and fences for now. We will need more other stuff, but for now that's all we're going to, all we're going to be using. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to go... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're gonna go with our black wool right here. No, actually, we'll need a gutter lane there. So we're gonna go with our stone slab. And then we're gonna grab our birch wood planks. And we're going to go just two with this aisle. All the other aisles we will be doing um, three wood, but this one, just so we can fit them all in there, we're only going two. And then on the other side, you will do the stone slabs again. And then we'll do the black wool. And over the top of the black wool, we will go with uh, stone slabs. And then we'll put another gutter lane with the slabs. And we'll grab our birch wood, and we're going to go three this time. And we'll be going three with all the birch wood from now on. Each lane will be three. And then we'll grab our stone slab for our gutter lane once again. And then our black wool and stone slab on top. And we just keep repeating the same process. Go with three birch. Hopefully you guys like this. I didn't give it a whole lot of thought. So if you guys have better ideas on how to do, you know, lanes or anything in this build, feel free to just throw in your own ideas because this will be your bowling alley. So I just try to give you guys ideas and things like that. You can change it up however you want and you know, if it looks good and you have an idea, be sure to let me know, and I'd like to check it out. But we just keep on with the same process over and over. I'm not sure how many lanes we get in. I think we get in uh, seven or so, maybe. So it's not a huge bowling alley, but... Oh, bless me. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> My sinuses are always giving me problems. So basically all you do is, to make a lane, you use black wool and then stone slab over the top, and then stone slab for a gutter, and then three wood planks, and then another gutter, and then the uh, black wool and stone slabs. So, very easy process. But uh, I think it looks pretty good. I'm sure there's uh, better ways and things to do to make it look better, but this is, this is okay by me. Hopefully you guys have been, have been enjoying me doing more videos here recently. Like I said, um, I've just been trying to put out as many as I can because once I start my other job, then I'm not sure how often I'll be able to do Let's Builds. I'm going to try to at least get in, um, you know, one or two Let's Builds a week because usually it takes at least uh, two parts to make a Let's Build, so... I will try my best to um, at least do one, but I'm gonna try to do two. Okay, after we got all, all, after we have all the aisles in, we're gonna grab our diamond blocks, and we're going to go four, four width and three high above each lane. And we're gonna leave two spots in between each um, little, I guess this is like 
the screen where it shows how many pins you have left and how many throws you have left and all that good stuff. So we're just going to do that in between each each aisle. Just remember to leave two spots in between each little I guess video screen we'll call it. All right, there we go. Um, here on the ends, we're going to get rid of the last one and have like a little line where you can't cross, you know. That's what they have at the bowling alley, so that's what we're going to do. And I know that at my bowling alley, you can have bumper lanes or whatever. If you want, you can throw some... Um, what is it called the fence or whatever in between the gutters so it looks like a little barriers there I guess we'll do that to one just to show you guys what I'm talking about we'll grab our iron bars and we can just throw maybe yeah like that right there so it's like a little barrier so you can't throw a, a gutter ball that's basically for kids but you could throw some of those in a couple of them if you want. Okay, next we're going to grab our um, spruce wood planks and we're going to come out about, I don't know how many yet, but we're going to throw uh, like a ball return area in here and we're going to put like a couple of um, couches and stuff so that you can, when it's not your turn to bowl, you can have somewhere to sit, hang out, talk to your friends, family, whoever you're bowling with, you know. So, we're going to throw some uh, some of this darker wood down. I'll tell you how many we'll throw down after I figure it out. <laughs> we're just going to fill in this area though real quick and then we'll work on the ball return and uh, we'll throw some couches and stuff in there. And we'll also throw some TV screens, like a little TVs up there. So it can show your score, and when you're not playing, you know, you can watch some kind of sporting event or whatever's on the TV. That's how my bowling alley is, anyways. Alright. For our ball return, we're going to skip one, two, and on the third one, we're going to put one stone slab, and then two, and then two, and then one like that, so... So you'll be doing this right here. So it looks like, you know, the ball, after you roll the ball, it goes through that little machine area underground and then comes back out right here. That's the the, the look I was going for. I apologize if it doesn't look like one. I'm sure you guys can think of something better. Um, that's just what I came up with quick, right off the top of my head. <laughs> because I haven't built this I built a bowling alley in mine, but it's a lot different, so I was just trying to do more of a, I don't know, this one's more of like a old school bowling alley in my opinion, but so after we get this little area in, we are going to grab our stone slabs again. And after you have that built, we do it like so. And then we're going to grab our chest and put it in the middle. We'll need to throw down one more, well, probably two more layers of oak. At least here on the entrance area, I wanted to put like different colored flooring and stuff because you know how whenever you go into bowling alleys it's got like weird carpet area and all that good stuff so that's probably what we're gonna do so here with the darker wood we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 13 from the little line you can't cross. Throw that one there. Yeah. 
Okay, and then after we have this in, we're gonna throw a couch down here. We're just gonna go four, and then sandstone. And then if you want, you can put another one on this side. It's totally up to you. Let's see if there's enough room there. Yeah. You can do that if you want. If you don't, then that's fine also. And then we need to make another ball return. So on the third one. And then grab our chest and put it in there. And then we'll just continue to make our ball returns. So each time you come to where there is a thing in between the gutters, you put a ball return. Hopefully you guys like this bowling alley. I think it turned out pretty good. And one more. Keep the ideas of what you would like next because I do like to do what you guys want me to do. And there we go. Now we'll just throw down some couches. Uh, this area we can throw down one in the middle. I'll just throw it right, I guess, here where I had it. Only thing is, there's not any room in between the ball return and that. So that kind of sucks. But, oh well. Gotta do what you gotta do. You can just throw them anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter. And I just use red and black couches because that's what we have around the top. Alright, next we're going to grab our fence and we're going to throw some TVs up. So in between where the... Um, in, between, in between where the ball return is you'll throw some uh, fence up then you'll grab your black wool and just put it on the end of the fence and if you want you can throw like a glowstone on top of it and then here we can throw down some uh, we'll just throw down some stairs so it's just like individual little seats I'm just gonna use um, sandstone and then if you want you can put like a little table area if you want you can make it look like a computer but I'm completely out of um, I'm completely out of item frames and all that good stuff so if you want you can make that look like a computer so you can write your names and stuff in and up there you can put like picture signs or whatever you want. Just some ideas. Well. I'm just putting these even with the uh, ball return. On each corner you'll put a seat. And then we'll grab our fence and put in between the seats, not on the seat. <laughs> and there we go. And then we'll grab our 
pressure plate and put it on top. And one more. Okay, there we go. We'll just continue with our little TV screens. You just do three and then the black wool. If I can stop misplacing them. You just go up and this is where the uh, ball return would be so you just place uh, the fence on each side of where the ball return would be and we'll just make sure that all the fences are in a straight line across yep okay then we'll go with our black wool like we did on the very first one there we go a few more and then I'll probably pause it and do the flooring in the front and we'll throw in some concession stare uh, concession areas then on the top we'll go with our glowstone just to light up the area a little bit better we'll probably throw some lights in here in just a little while but I just wanted to show you guys what we're gonna be doing so I'm gonna pause this real quick and I'm gonna do this area in different colors I'll probably use every single color that we have besides you know like brown <laughs> and white but I'll use all these goofy colors because I know my bowling alley has weird flooring so I will be right back And I am back. As you can see, the uh, colors I used were red, yellow, orange, lime, blue, um, uh, light blue, pink, and purple. And I just mixed it up and tried to make it where one color didn't touch the other. I did right here. So we can just throw, you know, whatever color. So if you have spots where the same one hit, just change it up well it doesn't really matter what colors you put there just try not to keep the same color and next we will clear that out I'm going to put like a little right when you walk in this is where you're gonna pay to play let's see we stopped it that one okay that's right we're just gonna make a, like a little booth keep a spot where you can walk in and out we'll grab some stairs so it can have a cash register and then a fence we're gonna go two up And then we're going to grab our little slabs. And let's see, let's get the stairs. The spruce wood stairs. We're going to put that in between all of it. Well, if I can place this right. All right, there we go. And then back here, we're gonna grab some um, chests. And we're just going to lay them. Those won't open. Yeah, it did. Okay, never mind. And we can put shoes in there, so. Just grab, you know, the different color shoes. 
and you can throw them in there, fill them up. That's where you pay to play and get your shoes and all that good stuff. Then we can grab some glowstone and some glass. I'm just going to throw it in every other different one. You guys can do whatever you want, though. You can put some uh, pressure plates up on the counters if you want. I'll go ahead and do that. I just think it makes it more look like a counter. You can even throw pressure plates or snow, whatever you want. And then we will grab our fence gate. Fence gate, fence gate. Just throw that in there. And then over here, you know, you can put another store that sells food or it can be like a concession area. And I would say just do the same thing that you did over there. If you want, I'm going to, so. Just on the corners, throw your slab. And then everything else you can just put um, stairs. I'm just going to throw glass everywhere else, I guess. And then back here, we can put... We can put a couple chests on that side. And then I'm going to grab a furnace. Maybe. I'm going to grab a brewing stand, and uh, a power rail, just to make it look somewhat like a then I'm going to grab these and I'm going to put the brewing stands on top of that. And have like a little vent. And then over here we're just gonna make some lockers you can put item frames and or signs and say whose locker it is or what number it is or whatever and that's about it that's all we're gonna do in this let's build of the bowling alley you can throw some more lights up there if you want I'm just going to leave it kind of dark because my bowling alley is dark. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And be sure to continue to let me know what you guys want me to build. Hope you guys have a great day and peace. Bye-bye.